All right, today we are talking about angle relationships. And this is our last set of notes um, for this section for Geometry Basics. Um, so angle pair relationships, definition of vertical angles. So when two angles are formed by opposite rays, or making a perfect X. So here, one and two are vertical angles. They're straight across in this X. Three and four are also vertical angles. They're straight across in the X. And these are always going to be congruent. So like angle one is congruent or has the same measure as angle two. Angle three is congruent to angle four. A linear pair are any two adjacent angles. And adjacent means they're neighbors. I'm going to write that in. And that forms a line. So it says non-common side. So their side in common is this ray, but their non-common side forms a straight line, 180 degrees. Adjacent angles are angles that share a side and vertex, um, or their neighbors. Okay, so these are all adjacent angles. Well, actually, these are adjacent. They share a side and a vertex. This one is not. They do not share a vertex. And then all of these are adjacent, considered adjacent, because they share a side and a vertex. Or actually, I'm sorry. Like these two, one and two would be adjacent. Two and three would be adjacent. One, angle one, is not adjacent to angle three, just FYI. All right, use the figure to answer the questions. Do any of the angles form linear pairs? And pairs means that it's only two. So it looks like we could do one and two. We could do, we can't do two, three, and four because that's more than two. We could do one and five, it looks like, though. I think that would be it. I could be wrong, but like this would be three. So I think that's it. Any vertical angles. So remember, there has to be a perfect X going on. So here's an X. These two make an X. So it looks like 2 and 5 would be straight across. And then adjacent angles are neighbors. Share a side and a vertex. So there's a ton. But just to pick out one, we could do 4 and 5. But you could also do 3 and 4, 2 and 3, 1 and 2, 1 and 5. There's a lot of choices there. I'm going to add etc. Because there's a lot of choices. Complementary angles are angles that add to 90 degrees. Um, they can be both of these. So this is an adjacent angle. That adds to 90. But even these two, like let's say this one is 30 and this one is 60. They're still complementary. They're just not adjacent. Okay, but they're still both complementary. Supplementary is very similar, um, but they add to 180. So same thing. These are adjacent. These are non-adjacent, but still supplementary. All right, so next page. Name a pair of complementary angles. So that means they add to 90. So our complementary angles looks like it has to be these two. So F, G, K. And G, K, L. Supplementary means they add to 180. So I think that would be these two. So we have H, G, K, and G, K, L. And then adjacent means they share a ray or a segment. So that'd have to be these two. Because they have to have a common vertex. So K has a different vertex. So it has to be 
these two. So angle FGK and HGK. They both have to have the G in the center to be considered adjacent. Right, our angle KGH and LKG adjacent. Right away, their center letter is not the same, so they don't share a vertex, so this is a no before I even look at the picture. Here, these both have G in the middle, so that's a good start. So F, G, K, and F, G, H. So they're talking about this one, F, G, K versus F, G, H. Um, they should only have one side in common, but these have two in common. Is that right? I guess they still they have one in common, but they're overlapping. They're not allowed to overlap. So no overlapping. All right. Given that E is a complement of J and measure of J is 47, find E. So complement means 90. So if J is 47, 90 minus 47 is 43. Given that H is a supplement, that's 180, of P, and H is 47, find P. So the measure of angle P, 180 minus 47 is 133. Y and O are complementary, find their measures. So we know that they should add to be 90. So if I add them together, equals 90, and now I can solve this. So we get 9x minus 18. Add 18 to both sides. Divided by 9. X is 12. They asked us to find the measures, so you have to plug it back in. So 8 times 12 minus 7 gives us 89. O, 12 minus 1 is 1, and these do add to 90. Um, example D here is very similar, but they said supplementary. So we have to add to 180. So we'll add them together, set it equal to 180, and solve. So we have 13x plus 11. Subtract 11 is 169. Divide by 13, you'll get 13. And then you have to plug it back in because they asked for the measures. You want to make sure you're answering the question. So 12 times 13 plus 1 is 157. And then 13 plus 10 is 23. And these add to 180. The linear pair postulate says if two angles are a linear pair, which we defined on the last page, then they are supplementary. So if angle one and angle two are a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Vertical angle theorem. If two angles are vertical, then they are congruent. I kind of gave this one away on the last page already. They have the same measure. So if, for example, angle one plus angle three are vertical angles, then angle one is congruent to angle three. That means they have the same measure. All right. Find the measure of the numbered angles. So what I like to do with these kind of problems is just fill them in 
and then go back and do this part. So straight across here, ankle two also has to be 83. Um, straight across here, ankle four also has to be 49. And then I know that these three have to be 180. So if I take 180 minus 83 and minus 49, I get 48. And then straight across this is 48. And then you can go back in and fill in what they were asking you for. All right, last page. Find the value of x. We know these have to be equal. And now we can solve. So minus 40. And divide by 2. So 35. And these have to add to be 180 since they're a linear pair. So you have 4x plus 8 equals 180. Minus 8 would give us 172. And divide by 4. Is 43. Yep, 43. All right. Find x and y. So x's, these are the same. So minus 3x from both sides. Add 47. Divide by 2. You get 32. To find y, it'll be the same. Straight across there, equal. Minus 2y. Add 20. You get 29. Okay, and this one, the y's are on the same line, so you would add them to be 180. Supplementary. Then add 20, divide by 4, so y is 50, and then x would be the same. They're supplementary. All right, so 8x minus 52 equals 180. Add 52. And divide by 8 is 29. All right, so that's the end of these notes. And then your assignment for today is to finish up worksheet 6 in your packet. It should be the last one. And then there is a part two on Delta Math today as well.